Auto theory is a really interesting rec extension because it's not an instrument in itself. It's a MIDI generator and interpreter. And it's designed for people who aren't maybe the most proficient or experienced keyboard players in the world, but who want to be able to play more original and interesting MIDI parts, but without having to import MIDI files that someone else has created. And it works by intercepting MIDI either from the sequencer or from your MIDI keyboard, and then changing it and sending it on to an instrument. And it does that using control voltage. And what I've done here is I've set this up as it needs to be set up because on its own it won't do anything, won't make any noise because as I say it's a MIDI processor. If I spin the rack around, there are two main sections. There's the melody section and there's the chord section. And what you do is you connect the CV gate and note outputs of each of these to a module that does generate sound. In this case I've used NN19 samplers. And then when this has MIDI focus, which it does here, you can see, then it interprets the MIDI I play on my keyboard and it modifies it and sends it onto the instruments to generate sound. Now, what I've got loaded here is the Blues Triads preset. You can see there are lots and lots and lots of presets here. I've got my MIDI keyboard here and it splits the keyboard at C3, which is the center of the keyboard. So if I play from C3 upwards, now what I'm doing on my actual keyboard is I'm playing five notes next to each other. So I'm, I'm actually playing C, D, E, F, G there. But you can hear that that MIDI is being intercepted and turned into something else, and that's based on these settings here. So what it's doing is it's reinterpreting my playing. It's kind of knocked out the notes that I shouldn't want to play. So if I play, I'm actually playing C and C sharp there on the keyboard, but it's triggering the same note. I can alter the key by using this master key control. I can also alter the bass scale. If I move down to the chord section, if I move to the left of C3 on my keyboard, I'm now triggering actually a different module because as I said before, this chord section is sent to feed this instrument, whereas the melody section was sent to feed this instrument. So what I'm doing is I'm holding a single key at a time now, but I'm playing whole chords. And you can see that when I do, it knows what I'm playing. So what I can do is within each of these, I can tweak the notes that are going to make up that chord by adding accidentals. So I can set up banks of chords to play differently depending on single notes that I press on the keyboard, which is quite cool. Up here, for example, there's my F. But I could very easily change that F so that it plays a different kind of chord. Or an augmented chord. There's also this thing down the bottom here called a strummer. And this can be used to emulate, you've guessed it, strumming. So if I activate that, and if I play a single note on my keyboard, it's now basically creating a played chord for me. And what I can do is I can adjust the duration of that. Make it slower or faster. Add a bit of shuffle. I can humanize it, which is interesting because what that does is it adds in a bit of random velocity. Now some notes will be calmer and some of them will be more insistent. I can also change the strum type. Again, I'm holding a single note on my keyboard. I could even make it do things at random. It's worth digging into the documentation for auto theory if you're interested in it because there's quite a lot to learn about it. It does some quite interesting things. One thing that is interesting, actually, is if I just go back into the browser, there are supplied some rather interesting combinators. 
for example, an acoustic picked guitar. And if I look at the devices, the developers have built a patch for me with two instances of auto theory, a sub mixer, some effects, and some guitar sounds in samplers. And I can play about with these. Here's my strums. So it can take a little bit of fiddling to get it right, but it's an interesting way of taking control of the way your chords are played, especially when it's paired with something like a guitar sound.